Hey Learning Birds, this is Mr. Ozarka with another lesson brought to you by LearningBird.com. If you have any questions about the following video, you can email me at mrozarka at gmail.com. All right, here we go. All right, so this is going to be a video on freeze patterns. Freeze patterns are basically patterns that can be mapped onto themselves with one or more transformations. They extend both left and right on a line. So basically they're the same thing as tessellations, only they extend linearly. An easy way to think about freeze patterns is to think about borders. And this can be borders on paper, on tiles, on clothing, on rugs, any architecture that you might see, or just any other decorative art that you can imagine. The transformations used with freeze patterns are generally one or more of the following. We have translation which is just like sliding, rotation, and reflection. These transformations can be combined to make other symmetries. Each possible combination of symmetries is called a freeze group. It turns out that there are seven different unique freeze groups as shown in the following. There's hop, step, sidle, spinning hop, spinning sidle, jump, and spinning jump. So you might be thinking, who cares about freeze patterns? Well, just as it was with tessellations, freeze patterns allow for the creation and appreciation of many art forms that you see in your everyday life. Also, understanding them and creating them can help you improve your spatial intelligence. So that's freeze patterns. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know. And if you thought this lesson helped you, please be sure to click This Was Helpful. For other great lessons, be sure to check out learningbird.com.